So at the games, there was a video. We, we, the women mm-hmm. that you took part in. Um, I've watched two versions. Uh, there's the, the mashup of kind of everybody. Mm-hmm. And then there's one that's just yours. It's about three and a half, four minutes long in that video. Um, you, you talk about a lot of things and we'll get into that in a second. Does that depict a lot of the journey that you just went through? I think it's a highlight reel. I think it's maybe a, a soundbite, but there's so much more to it as everybody, you know, all of us on our own journeys can, re- can relate to. I think, you know, in that video, I talked a lot about this um, sort of freeing myself from this internal monologue of you're not enough, which I think as humans, we probably all have to overcome in some way in our lives because of you know, whatever it is that has told us that we're not enough, um, whether it's, you know, something in our childhood or the way that, you know, social media impacts us or experiences that we've had that that impact us subconsciously, even as we're, we're growing up. And so for me, it was becoming aware of that, learning how to, you know, not be so hard on myself and really you know, love myself, appreciate all the great things about myself. And, and for much of my life, I had been very driven and focused, but it also been really my own worst critic. So my, you know, if you could hear the internal monologue of many of my thoughts, they weren't very nice. Um, I was always probably much harder on myself than anyone else was. And, and I felt like that was necessary to help me be successful because it had worked for so long. And what I've realized over the last couple of years is that you know, I want to be purposeful in the world and I want to, you know, really fully utilize my gifts. I don't want to be complacent, but I also, you know, need to change the way that I was, or I wanted to change the way that I was talking to myself because it was having a negative impact on my thoughts and my emotions, my experience. And so um, that's been a lot of the work I've been doing over the last couple of years is, is what you might refer to as thought work, um, a lot of meditation, Um, a lot of, you know, journaling, other practices that have helped me become more aware of those thoughts and, and shift into more of a, you know, positive, loving, accepting, graceful sort of state with myself. It's funny you talk about it that way. I just started a show a few weeks ago with Phil Mansfield on mindset. Mm -hmm. And our last episode, uh, last week's episode was self-talk. And the statistic is that we have, we speak a thousand words to ourselves every 10 minutes. Oh, I believe so that. we are our biggest influence on ourselves. Our brains are just constantly going. They never want to turn off. <laughs> and so you, you say something in the video about that being humble doesn't mean beating myself up. Mm-hmm. And maybe I paraphrase that a bit, uh, but but I get that. I understand what you were saying there. I felt it because mm-hmm. I've gone through the same thing myself. Mm-hmm. And I've talked to a lot of athletes on this show that when you talk about different things, they really beat themselves up for small mistakes yeah. um, in an event. And is, is that a natural thing for athletes or just humans in general? 